Hello YouTube Boss Rino, welcome to my channel. So ito, uh, Darkest Secret. Ito ay most popular videos ng Darkest Secret. Ito yung hindi dati niyang popular video eh. Yung pala, napapanood pa rin yung mga luma niyang video. So ito na yung pinaka top ngayon. Ngayong, ngayong araw na to, siya ang pinaka popular ngayon. 2.1 million views. Siguro ang dami, nag-trending siguro to sa kanila. Kasi sobrang uh, nakakatakot to malamang, oo. Kasi malapit ko nang dapat i-reaction to eh. Kasi inuunti-unti ko yung popular niya. Eh, bigla siya nag-jump sa number one. Kaya eto, humanda na kayo dahil sigurado nakakatakot to. So, try natin to bago pa try na iba. My name is Leonor Clay. And, and this, this is was... The Darkest Secret. Namiss ko ang Darkest Secret. The recording that welcomes us to this video was sent by Kevia Rodriguez, an attentive subscriber from Peru. Commenting that she had exclusive access to the security cameras of a healthcare facility located in the city of Pacasmayo. This video was sent to me because there was no one inside this ambulance. However, a movement inside made the employees think the opposite. Nakakatako siya, mga morgue, no? Putang ina, mga morgue. Patay tayo dito, mga morgue. Ulitin ko lang, ulitin ko lang ha, kasi umalis siya, naiwan niyang buksa, bukas yung pinto, tapos Boom! Oh, she! Tapos bumukas ulit, no? Gago. Oh, bubukas oh. Oh, shit, gumagalo mag-isa pito may buhay. It is assumed that there was no one inside. In fact, at first, you don't see anyone inside. Please Pero, note the abrupt closing of the door. Putang ina. Oh, shit. That, my friends, is not due. Two pressure changes in the wind. So, the most disturbing ano? thing is that if you look closely, you can see movement inside of the vehicle. Kaluluwa. Can you see it? Yun, no, nga, may bumababa, para may bumababa, para these bata. places really do get filled with the spirits of the deceased. Ooh. At least for me, this video has no logical explanation. Tell me what you think. Number four. Ang nakakatakot kasi, okay, sige, sabihin natin may kaluluwa. Ang nakakatakot lang, eh, kaya niya magbukas pin ng pinto, magsara ng pinto, no? Pero nakakatakot talaga sa morgue, no? Hmm. Minsan, na, meron kami dito, may nadadaanan ko, yung may mga kabaong. Siyempre, may morgue doon. Nakakatakot dumaan, no? O, tabi, tabi tabi pa sila, no? Siguro mas nakakatakot sa morgue kaysa sa simbahan. Tapos, sumunod, simenteryo. First, morgue, simbahan, sumunod, tapos, simenteryo, no? Grabe to. Oh. This video consists of two clips recorded at dawn in different hospitals. The first of them came to my email thanks to a subscriber who for personal reasons refused to reveal his identity. I can only affirm that he works in a hospital where he assures strange things usually happen. He continues on to say that what you're about to see was recorded by a security camera after 3 in the morning at a time when in the midst of a prevailing silence an inexplicable phenomena suddenly broke the hospital's peace. Pay attention. Boom! Tang ina galit! Oh shit! Whoa! Hindi tali yan. Naku, puta, grabe. Ay, ito talaga totoo, promise. Promise. Totoo to, promise. Mahirap buksan yun ng tali Despite na hindi nakikita. Despite the impression nakikita. of this clip, the truth is that I do not have enough background to verify its veracity. Our subscriber affirms that phenomena like this 
have been seen by him repeatedly. However, this video seems too good to be true. Although it is the movement of the chair that leaves me the most shocked, since how could you stage something like that? Can it be done with strings? Tama wala kayo makikita ng tali oh. Ito mahirap eh. Kahit na may tali yan, paano yan umurong ng ganyan? Tapos sa tumba pa. Oh shit. A fairly similar footage is one that was recorded overnight in a hospital in Chile. Oh, the nurses shit. heard noises coming from an adjoining room which alerted them since they were already aware that no one was in that room. They saw when reviewing the images from the security cameras as they confess it has been the most shocking thing they have seen in their lives. Uy, murong. Yun ang umurong. Tumatawa pa tong hype na to. Boom! Ay, hindi na tali ito. Ay, Diyos ko po, ano to? Nakabahan na naman ako. Nakabahan na naman ako. If you are a follower of my channel, surely you remember this recording. Because a while ago, it was part of one of our videos. A footage that as I mentioned, is quite similar to the previous one. However, on that occasion, Several of you saw something that at that moment, I didn't notice. A subtle but at the same time disturbing manifestation that occurs in the window. Can you see it? Do you think it's a spirit? Leave it in the comments. Malamang spirit yan. Ano yan? Number three. Number three pa lang. Anong nga mo yan? Let me start with the next question. Have you ever been in an unfamiliar place in the dark? And a cold chill runs down your back, alerting you to turn around. But luckily, when you do, for your peace of mind, there is nothing there. That experience is common. It is part of a defense mechanism that was developed thousands of years ago when we used to be prey of the most terrifying beasts. Well, that's exactly what the person who carried this camera did. Well, along with a group, we're exploring an old hospital in ruins. Ang, ang kit to mag-boyfriend, oh, isang medyo chubby, tsaka yung lalaki, sobrang payat naman. Kit, when no? suddenly, he felt that something was behind him. So he turned around without finding anything around him. At least, that's what he thought. Oi! Oi, begin to go down. Although this sequence corresponds to an expiration, the man assures that he was always the last of the group. Nobody was ever behind him. So that area should be empty. Even so, a thin-looking person is observed wandering around there. Could it be the spirit of a patient who is trapped here? Let me know what you think. Number two. Payat lang eh, no? Para may sakit. As I told you at the beginning, it seems that hospitals are filled with energies of pain, sorrow, and misfortune that sometimes occur within its walls. Energies that, according to many occult books, can invoke the manifestation of inexplicable phenomena. 
when combined with the desire or fear of another person. Allow me to better explain the last mentioned by relating an experience that happened to me. When I was little, I was close friends with my grandmother. We used to play and she used to accompany me. However, when I turned 12, she passed away. A couple of weeks later, while I was in my room, I felt someone sit at the foot of the bed. Oh, shit. I was half asleep and I knew it was my grandmother. She used to do this. Suddenly, I remember that she had passed away the week before. And when I opened oh. my eyes and turned toward the edge of the mattress, it had the marks and even the warmth as if someone had sat on it. I called my mother to verify that indeed that side of the bed was warm, and she compared it to the other corner, which was cold. That place was warm, as if someone had been sitting there for hours. In the occult world, it is believed that the burning desire of a heart saddened by the loss of someone can achieve physical manifestations with the aim of claiming that desire. That is to say, they are not spirits, but about manifestations that our own mind can create. According to the story that one of my subscribers tells me, what you're about to see could be exactly this. A man had arrived to leave a delivery, at which point he took out his camera and records to verify that he was in the location, at which point the lens captures an absolutely anomalous situation. Observe. Later, many said that precisely at that moment, a patient who had arrived urgently at the scene died in the middle of resuscitation protocols by medical personnel. While his family was devastated, their grief could have caused that brief manifestation of a strange black figure. Nakakatakot, tang ina. Sa hospital, takot din ako. Ay, di rin ako makatagal pag sa hospital, lalo pag gabi na. Number one. Ito na, number one na tayo. Matatapos na sa... Yes, matatapos na. Morgues are undoubtedly one of the places that generates the most fear inside hospitals. Oy, most fear. Well, Tama. in its dependencies, corpses arrive daily to be stored in that place. Bodies that lie inert on cold metal cubicles, waiting for autopsies and other procedures that feed our darkest thoughts. The same subscriber who writes us says that the greatest fear in the beginning is the idea that one of the corpses could suddenly sit up. Imagine what it's like to work in that kind of a place. How could you live a normal life after seeing corpses all day? Well, the man you see on the screen has had to deal with that. He works in a morgue, a job that he says he's gotten used to. But lately, he has had to deal with disturbing images of himself where it seems as if his work follows him. Pero grabe yung mga nagtatrabaho sa ano talaga, no, sa morgue. Sir. Pinaka mahirap. Uy, tang ino naman. Huwag naman ganyan, tol. She. Ba't nandiyan yan? Ano ba yan? Patay? Ano yan? Ayoko tingnan. Ayoko tingnan. The man claims that that selfie was taken while inside of his vehicle just as he was leaving his job. In the photo, there is the face of a person whose body had arrived at the morgue that week. Like the following image taken oh, during the break by one of his co-workers, in which clearly you can see the face and part of the body of a being that according to them, usually wanders around that area. Impressive photographs that for some were confirmed the type of magnet that hospitals represent for all kinds of beings that feel attracted by the energies that emerge from these places. 
making way to the manifestations of all kinds of paranormal phenomena, like the ones you just saw in this video. Videos that undoubtedly give food for thought. I hope you like this video, because we have come to an end. My name is Leonor Clay, Clay, and this, this was, was the darkest, the darkest secret. Pag naririnig ko palang yung morgue, natakot na ako eh. Kaya ito kanina medyo takot na ako nung umpisa eh. Oo, yung, lalo yung ano, yung umpisa umpisa yung may, tawag dito, yung sumara yung pinto nung sasakyan. Tapos yung isa yung sabi ko sa inyo mahirap yung upuan na hinihila ng ganon. Kasi wala, sa manggagalan yung hi, pa, ang papunta siya sa pader. So wala siyang, wala siyang ano, wala siyang tali na humihilap doon sa pader, nagaling sa pader, di ba? Ah, so mysterious. <laughs> Ay, gabi na naman. Ewo ko na. So, yun. Yeah, maraming maraming salamat sa panonood at hanggang sa muli.